this video um, wasn't planned so it's uh, not up to my normal production standards however because of a, uh, a little glitch I've had to basically disassemble everything I had installed and start over uh, almost from scratch uh, and I decided well then I'm gonna have to try to get this on video so I can help the few folk who have a 2011 Harley Davidson Road Glide Ultra. Road Glide being the shark nose, the Ultra being the first year, uh, the 2011 being the first year of the Road Glide Ultra, which had the tour pack from the factory and all that jazz. This is a uh, the inst I was installing a Bush Tech um, hitch system onto my um, onto my road glide and I, uh, I got all the way down to uh, bolting one critical component on and realized that there was no way I could properly bolt that on because it was an item um, that should have been installed from the very first step and that item is the receiver for this what they call a hidden hitch uh, and this mounting plate which is the basically the first thing that you uh, attach to the motorcycle as part of the installation process and unfortunately if you follow the directions given to you by Bush Tech you will mount this you will mount the side um, support arms you will bolt it all together and then find yourself trying to install this onto this and you cannot do that um, because the rear tire is in the way um, I have read the instructions three times since uh, utilizing a large volume of adult language and I can find nowhere in the uh, instructions where it tells you what I consider to be the most important step which is to take this and attach it to this before you ever attach this to the motorcycle I could be wrong I've been wrong before but I couldn't see any other way to make it happen by doing it the way they told me here so the beneficiaries of that is you because I'm now going to run through this because again I looked on YouTube and I could not find um, one good um, installation video for the Road Glide Ultra 2011 okay so um, without further ado I will run you through uh, what I did after I put those two things together I'm just going to put in a quick plug for these um, this style of ratchet wrench socket type because um, you will find that having a set of these uh, will be very handy while doing this installation because there's places that are a little tight to get a socket in and um, and you're going to need to do a lot of tightening into uh, nylon um, lock nuts and you know those don't spin on easy all the way down so if you don't have these um, Harbor Freight baby uh, <laughs> or or somewhere else but I'd get a set they're handy all right one of the first steps is you gotta take one of these stock bolts out which is a uh, number 40 uh, star bit with a half inch uh, nut on the other side you gotta take that out and replace it with one of their uh, their bolts which is a grade 8 and uh, it's a little longer because you're going to be using that bolt to help support the mounting plate for your hitch you're going to do that on both sides that's a uh, first step pretty much after you bolt this together 
this hitch onto this plate, just like that. First thing, don't forget. Once you've put these two pieces together and you've got those two bolts installed down at the rail, bottom rail there, those bolts are going to go through these slots on each side. So you're going to slide this in under the fender over those bolts and that's what's going to hold this in place until you do the next piece of installation. After you've got the uh, hitch plate um, suspended by the new bolts but not tightened, uh, the next thing you're going to do is remove again a couple of stock bolts and uh, replace them with um, with the new hardware. Now obviously this is not going to be there when you look at your bike but again the Road Glide Ultra uh, the figures they show in their instructions do not even talk about a Road Glide Ultra it doesn't show this and this chrome cover covers a third mounting bolt that's right up here. Um, unfortunately, their instructions do not say for the Road Glide Ultra you only use the two bolts here. <laughs> so I was confused. I thought I had to take it off. I did a whole bunch of crap I didn't know how to, didn't need to do. Eventually, I said, you know, I'm going to call the company. And I talked to a gentleman there, and he looked at the instructions, and after kind of not sounding 100% sure, because apparently the Road Glide Ultra is one unique puppy, especially this 2011. End result was you only use these two. So that, uh, that cleared me to proceed. Um, you use spacers. Uh, you use a medium size. There's three spacers: long, medium, short. Use the uh, don't use the long, obviously. Use the medium in this center, and the short one here. And you you mount that support arm down here, where it's inside between the muffler and your mounting plate for your hitch. Okay. Again, you screw it in. Get it close leave it loose so that you have room for adjustments. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Except there's one little little uh, difference over here. Over here, where this bolt mounts on the stock bike, it holds your little air valve uh, for your shocks. You have to relocate it from here to the other side of your shock using a bracket that they provide to do that and to, to mount that you have to take off your saddlebag mount on the front not a big deal but it's just something you have to uh, to be ready to do uh, because I learned about the other side this side went quicker so went ahead and got this support arm mounted uh, again lined up down here and then we're going to be installing two mounting bolts between here on both sides to connect this arm to this mounting plate and begin to snug everything up. Alright, next step after you get these bolts through the holes that connect the support arm to the hitch plate, these go from the bolt head side is on the inside, nuts are on the outside away from the tire. Next step is to tighten the two mounting bolts that you installed initially, one on each side. They are half inch both sides, nut and head of bolt. And you'll need to tighten those up which will level up this hitch plate and get you ready to tighten these up. Okay. 
Okay, now we uh, start tightening these four mounting bolts, two on each side. They are a 9 16 both uh, bolt head and, uh, and the nut. Okay, the next step is to tighten the two mounting bolts on either side at the top of the mount struts and these are 3 16 um, standard hex head. The uh, final step in the mounting of the actual hitch is to um, basically put your left saddlebag back on because this is going to be loose after you installed this new bracket for the uh, for the uh, shock air tube. So this is going to be loose. You got to mount the saddlebag back in there uh, once it's uh, everything's clipped in. Uh, Seven sixteenths to tighten up this uh, mounting bolt here, and then a. 12 millimeter to tighten this little outer nut I'm sorry this little outer nut of the uh, air valve onto the bracket in its final position and then put your cap back on so again 12 millimeter to do that well fits best for me so at this point you basically have the mount on the bike um, and you can tow a trailer. You don't have any lights yet and uh, I don't know if I'll uh, do a video to make you suffer through that part but this is basically how it mounts um, up underneath here. comes with a, um, a little ball mount that slides up inside that little square and you stick a locking or non-locking pin through it to hold it in place and away you go and then when you're done towing you just pull the pin drop this thing off and all you have sticking out below the edge of your um, fender is that little black tube okay I learned on the way which was of course number one put those two bits together before you ever start the rest of this um, this thing to that. The other thing is be aware that you're only going to use these two mounting holes. This one's going to stay empty because there's nowhere to there's no way to put it in without pulling this cover off. Okay? And you're going to have to relocate your air jack for the two rear uh, strut or two rear shock absorbers as part of this process. Okay? Other than that, um, somebody who's got the wrenches and knows what they're doing um, and follows those couple of things so they're not confused by the instructions, um, you should be able to knock it out in two hours at the most. Okay? At least mounting the hitch. The wiring whole nother saga. Okay? Hope this has helped and uh, we'll see you next time.